this will be the new form of arginine. In my opinion, at this point, and again, we'll let the science kind of evolve in this area, I, at this point, I would use agmatine instead of arginine or arginine AKG. If you look up agmatine and even looking at some of the references, I mean, just for uh, the sports world, it's all about nitric oxide, and that's really what this product is intended for in our world uh, in terms of the pump, described as super arginine, and I would use that term. It's more potent than the different forms of arginine out there uh, in terms of how effective it can increase uh, nitric oxide. So it's really the the arginine of choice, and it is agmatine. But again, the ingredient is agmas. Agmatine is very interesting in the sports nutrition world. The primary purpose of using agmatine is for its nitric oxide benefits because agmatine is a metabolite of arginine. And actually, I think most know that arginine uh, in the conversion of nitric oxide and citrulline, you know, does have this vasodilation effect. It increases a chemical called nitric oxide that is a potent vasodilator. So it will open up the blood vessels, the capillaries uh, in the muscles and throughout the body and allow for uh, more oxygen into the muscles, more nutrients into the muscles. It allows for waste products to uh, be removed from the muscles, stabilizes the pH of the muscle. All these things affect performance. And, you know, when we're exercising, you know, when our muscles ache or, you know, we want to get the optimal efficiency of the muscle and delivering oxygen, water, the key nutrients is really essential for normal muscle function and also for pushing the body to, you know, the highest levels that we can do in, in all sorts of sports performance. I predict in the, in the next year or so that this product will become a very important. It's, it's going to rise up to the occasion and it's going to be that premier ingredient, just like creatine, just like glutamine, the branch chain amino acids, leucine, these types of ingredients that have the uh, critical mass of science, you know, meeting these benchmarks as being a truly uh, performing ingredient. Agmas is the trademark name, and it's a trademark name for the, the ingredient called agmatine or agmatine sulfate. Our product, which is agmas, agmatine sulfate uh, is the best ingredient in the marketplace. It's truly the gold standard. This is the purest form out there. So it is the best of the best in terms of agmatine because you can look at other companies selling agmatine. Uh, most likely they're selling a synthetic form of agmatine that may have uh, impurities in it. Uh, in the processing, as I've evaluated the uh, process flow chart in making this product. You know, these impurities are not good. They're not good for the body. They impede exercise performance, and, you know, these products are, are not the product of choice. You know, clearly it increases blood flow to the muscles and muscle fullness, nutrient uptake. It increases endorphins, you know, from the brain. So it does play a role in terms of the nootropic effect and the adaptogenic effect and feeling good, you know, through the workout. It releases insulin and calcium uptake. And it's a very, if, if you look at a lot of the research that's published on agmatine, um, it's essentially a neuromodulator. It has a very strong neuromodulator role, and it really meets all the criteria of a neurotransmitter uh, within the brain. So a lot of the studies with agmatine are looking at brain function. They're looking at its neurotransmitter effect. They're looking at its analgesic effect. This is a huge benefit of agmatine. It's actually an analgesic. It will reduce pain. It works through the mechanisms of uh, NMDA, which is N-methyl and aspartate, and the NMDA receptors in the brain. So it actually has an analgesic effect. It has a nootropic effect in terms of uh, the nootropic world, in terms of mood and focus, adaptogen, stress management. Uh, there's a lot of studies on depression. So it's an intriguing ingredient, and it really has a lot of applications. But again, for us, for our customers, for our immediate purpose, you know, using it as a, a nitric oxide modulator uh, for pump and to deliver, you know, nutrients into the, the muscle cells. Agmatine is a decarboxylation chemical step from arginine, 
Uh, so you take the amino acid arginine and you remove a carboxylic acid group. It's called decarboxylation in the enzymes, and you form agmatine. And then agmatine can go down various uh, biochemical pathways to do what, it, what it's doing it within the body. It's a biogenic amine. Uh, so it's, you know, part of an amino acid group, and it's really, like I said, the premier form of agmatine, you know, on the marketplace. Now, Agmas, this form of this uh, brand of agmatine sulfate is a uh, natural derived form. It's not derived, and in the product data sheet I have, the, you know, compound 1,4-diaminobutane. Uh, in the synthetic production, they use that but ours doesn't. So it does not contain the main impurity uh, found in other forms of agmatine. If they're not using agmast, then they're using the synthetic yeah. form and the uh, inferior form. So we do not have 1,4-diguanidinobutane, which is an impurity. Compound solutions, which uh, and, and their partners have tested many of the third-party agmatine products, and they do find this. So uh, that is a huge selling point for this product, a huge differentiator. It's going to be the purest form uh, without any detectable uh, 1,4-diguanidinobutane, so it's going to be the purest form. It's essentially a pharmaceutical-grade agmatine. In the chemistry world or the pharmaceutical world or the drug world were to source agmatine, especially for standards, they'd, they'd go to what's called Sigma Aldrich, and they would get the purest or what are these pharmaceutical-grade products. That is the level of this product. So it's the best of the best. You know, clearly that's a very important differentiator in terms of our product and the competition. Another interesting thing comparing I wanted to emphasize, and this is very important, is how it manages pH. We do know, and if you've been following the world of alkaline, you know, keeping the body in an alkaline state, which is a, a pH higher than 7%, uh, agmatine does that, so it has a, a secondary effect in terms of keeping the body in an alkaline state, and it is a strong alkaline. It has a pH greater than 7.2, 7.4, so when we exercise, we do produce lactic acid. Uh, that does change the pH of the muscle and the blood into a more acidic environment due to lactic acid, which is an acid, and, and it does affect exercise performance, pain, uh, cramping, uh, and all those other things that impede optimal performance. So agmatine has a, a benefit. It also has a half-life a lot longer than arginine by itself, so it'll stay in the system longer, and that's why it, it is superior to now arginine in terms of using arginine by itself as compared to agmatine. Another interesting point, it's half-life because uh, it does cross the blood-brain barrier, and that means that uh, there is this barrier where uh, nutrients can actually get into the central nervous system, into the brain. It has a very long half-life in the brain, uh, greater than 12 hours. So its long-term effects in terms of analgesic effects, nootropic effects, adaptogenic effects, neuromodulator, neurotransmitter are going to be far longer than just the acute or short-term effects that we would see with uh, NO production. So that's very uh, interesting. It is a pre-workout design, kind of as a pre-workout because of its nitric oxide benefit. So it's suggested to consume about 20 to 30 minutes before a workout in any workout beverage or by itself. It's so versatile that one could spike any uh, pre-workout or a, a protein shake or a branched-chain amino acid intra-workout, you know, anything in terms of, you know, getting the benefits. So perfectly safe. Uh, the talk studies and everything on that side is, is shown uh, just super safe but super efficacious uh, in terms of its performance. So, uh, again, it's super arginine, and uh, it is the uh, nitric oxide modulator agmatine with the uh, branded trademark name of Agmath. Individuals who will be take, consistently taking agmatine, not only in their pre-workout, like in FBX 2.0, but adding agmatine continually uh, daily in their uh, just normal, taking it by itself or adding it to a, a shake, whatever. And I, I would encourage more of a longer-term use because then we're going to see more of the longer-term beneficial effects on 
on uh, agmatine in terms of its uh, neurotransmitter benefits. So very, very uh, interesting. Uh, there's definitely going to be more studies on this. And, uh, again, we're, we're so happy that we're able to have this product in our line so early as compared to other uh, forms of agmatine in the marketplace. In terms of dosing, the dosing goes from one uh, from 500 milligrams, which is a single scoop, and it's a very, very small scoop, 500 milligrams, half a gram, up to 1.5 grams or 1,500 milligrams. And it's suggested, it kind of has a little bit of a, it's not a bitter note, but because of the sulfate, it may have a little bit of a, a sulfate taste. Uh, it's not bad, it's, it's not mild, just in plain water, but if it's that, if there's a factor there, uh, then just add it to juice, orange juice or apple juice or any type of juice, and you won't even taste it at all if, if taste is an issue. So the suggested dose is one to three scoops, which would be 500 to 1,500 milligrams. In terms of the number of servings, we have this at, at 100 servings per container, which would be one scoop. But many individuals, if they're taking, you know, the three scoops, then, then the uh, number of servings would, would go down.